Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to perform a deep power clean on your Epson printer. So it goes a little bit further than a regular nozzle cleaning in that it actually will replace all the ink inside the ink tubes. However, it will fill up your waste tank faster, which would need to be replaced at some point. But if you're having issues with your printer and the other options, either to throw it out or tear it all apart, in order to figure out what's going on, you may want to consider doing this. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. And we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in control panel. Best results should come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Say your view by in the top right to large icons. And then you want to select where it says devices and printers. Select printers and scanners on this list and then select your Epson printer again on the list here. Go down to Printing Preferences and select the Maintenance tab. Select versus Power Cleaning. Printhead cleaning may not improve the print quality in the following situations. Consider performing power cleaning if you printed or performed head cleaning when the ink levels were too low to be seen in the ink tank windows or if you perform the nozzle check and head cleaning several times and then waited at least 12 hours without printing, but print quality still did not improve. You want to go ahead and select next here. Agree that you met both of these parameters here and then select next. Select start and please keep in mind, like I said, that last screen was just showing about that your waste tanks would be filled up quicker by doing a power cleaning. So this will take a few minutes to complete and is indicated that it has concluded when the power light on the control panel of the printer stops flashing. So just keep an eye on your printer. Once it stops flashing, just close out of here at that point. Select Finish. OK. And then hopefully your issue has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.